Hello. Hello. Well, here we are on the internet. I'm Elish, which is spelled with a Y. With the wait, what? <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, I'm James. For those of you who do know me, I'm still James. Um, <sighs> basically, we're making uh, fortnightly videos on science and. You're gonna be science. So every first four weeks we'll be doing a biography on a scientist and then the next week we'll be on a discovery so or an invention or something like that and then the next week we'll and the week after we'll just do science based well, really basic science knowledge. Really, really basic. Yeah. Next fortnight we're doing uh, smallpox which yep. is great. Uh, and then we're looking at immunological responses, which I know nothing about. I know it. <laughs> and then after that, we'll be doing STDs, which I know lots about from no experience at all. <laughs> so this week we're looking at Louis Pasteur. We're looking at a biography of Louis Pasteur. Uh, he's a Frenchman, but we forgive him for that. Yeah. Um, he was born in the... Whoa! Doll. He, doll. He doll, was born doll. On, <laughs> I don't know. He was born on 27th of December, which means he never got any Christmas presents because they were all birthday presents or something like that, in 1822, which was a good year for wine, but not much else. Um, yep, so he was actually a really artistic guy. He was into drawing and painting and even got a Bachelor of Arts um, at age 17. Hmm. Seriously? Yep. Yep. Oh, jeez. Got a Bachelor of Arts at age 17. And then he was like, that, screw that, I'm going to go do science. <laughs> yeah, because that's how to make money with your yep. life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, at 19 he got a degree in science. Um, this was all at um, Ecole Normale University in Paris. Which we've just um, horribly mispronounced. Yep. So he ended up being a researcher and a professor at some place, I'm not even going to try and pronounce, mm -hmm. but uh, Alice will put it on the, on the doopley doop, I don't... That place. Also, by age 24, he had a PhD as which well, is scary. which is kind of horrifying because we're 20 and that's like, <laughs> yeah. we're only, we haven't even finished our undergraduate. Yeah, so he became a researcher and professor, and then he became a professor of chemistry at age 25 um, at a university where he met his wife, and then they had she was five children. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Did you say she was a woman? She was a woman. So yep. he marries his wife, uh, who he got they got married at 27, which yep. seems a little bit late by their standards. Yeah, because it was the 1800s, so... Mm. Mm. Um, they but, had five kids, yep. three of them die, because people die a lot. Back then. Back yep. then. <laughs> not now. Nobody not now, not now. with all the no, science from Louis body. Pasteur. <laughs> um, and then at age 31, he started working on germ theory, which is part of what made him quite famous. Or oh, actually it was what made him famous because that's where he came up with pasteurization. Ah, yes, pasteurization is named yep. after Louis Pasteur, which you should know by now. Yeah, because it's kind of obvious. So basically what pasteurization is, is it's where you heat things up and then you cool them back down. Um, and that, oh, and through a series of cycles. And that um, starts to obliterate germs and microorganisms, breaking them down and that kind of thing. Um, and so that was used to stop souring of milk, which is the common thing, um, and then also wine and beer. So he's working at the germ theory aged about 31. By the time he's 39, he's invented this pasteurization technique, which we still use today, without which we wouldn't have our milk and that sort of thing. And that would be sad, because then how can people have their tea without milk? That's the proper way to do it. Just because you're lactose like, intolerant. I am the motherland! <laughs> Actually, what people don't generally know about Louis Pasteur is that he went on to do a lot more um, in the science field. Uh, for one, not as like um, well-known and advantageous to wide amount of people, um, was to save the silk industry actually, because um, silkworms were being under attack from microbes. And so they saved, he saved them. One of the other things that's quite interesting is that when uh, Pasteur hits 45, he actually has a crippling stroke. There's a, there's a clot in his brain mm -hmm. and uh, it left him partially paralyzed. But that didn't stop yeah. him because he's a tough guy. Yep, and then actually after that he did his biggest discoveries, um, which involved um, curing chicken cholera. Um, so basically, he created a vaccine using some of the 
violent culture. So basically, you get a virus that kills people and you think, this is bad, how do we stop it? And what they do is they go, let's give them something that's quite similar but doesn't kill people because that's nice. And he kind of does that with some chickens. And uh, later on, people start doing that with smallpox and TB and polio, which is uh, where the term polo shirt comes from. It's no, the, it's not. Uh, <laughs> so basically, what a vaccine does is that it builds the immune system so that viruses can't actually do as much harm and kill you. Um, yeah. And then he actually discovered a treatment or cure for rabies. It's called a shotgun, mm. and it's great. Well, there is that option, but... Um, <laughs> At age 59, he began working on rabies, which he found very interesting. And then by 1885, when he was 62, he cured a boy of, um, a nine-year-old boy of rabies, because um, he was bitten by a rabid dog. Which you should avoid. So in 1888, they created the Pasteur Institute in Paris. Institute Pasteur! So the Pasteur Institute is a not-for-profit foundation dedicated to basically just studying science. It's That's all right. <laughs> biology, microorganisms, diseases and vaccines, which are all things that he was heavily involved in. Yep, um, so it makes perfect sense. <laughs> mm. Yep. Um, and then shortly after that, at 72, um, he finally died of his strokes that he had had 27 years earlier. Um, it just, the paralysis worsened and he passed away. Uh, which was a sad time for science. Uh, we'll probably leave it around there. Tune in in two weeks time or we will come and find you and cry. How do we find them? We know these people. Okay. <laughs> I know you. I know you. I'm looking at you. I'm behind you right now. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Look at my face, Whoa. tell me that you love me.